Hello again everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I want to show you how to grant Kilo code access to GitHub environment so that it can access GitHub data and perform actions on your behalf. So GitHub has released an official MCP server that allows you to connect your AI agents to the platform. This MCP server grants AI agents the ability to read repositories and code files, manage issues and pull requests, analyze code, automate workflows, and much more. And since Kilo Code support adding MCP servers, it means you can grant it access to your GitHub account so that the agent can manage your repository such as creating branches or forks, analyze build failures, practically anything you can do in GitHub, Kilo Code will be able to do it for you. So next, let me show you how to install and use GitHub MCP server in Kilo Code. Obviously, you will need a GitHub account as well as install Kilo Code. On the screen here, I have Killer Code already installed in VS Code. To get GitHub MCP Server, open the MCP settings on the top bar here, and you can select between Global MCP or Project MCP. I will select Global MCP to make it available on all projects, and the Global JSON config for the MCP will be shown on the editor as follows. You will need to put the GitHub MCP config in this file, uh, so back on the MCP GitHub page, scroll down until you find the JSON configuration. You need to use the one that uses GitHub PAT or personal access token as follows. Just copy the JSON config here, and then paste it into Killer Code MCP config. Next, you need to update the type attribute to streamable-http because that is the configuration recognized by Killer Code for remote MCP server. Now, one more thing we need to adjust is the authorization parameter as it needs a valid GitHub personal access token to run. To get a personal access token, you need to visit github.com slash settings slash tokens and then click generate new token here. Select the classic token. Now you need to configure the token. For the node, put kilo github mcp server and then check the scopes you want to grant to this token. You can select all available scopes to let the MCP server access everything in your account. Once finished, click the Generate Token button, and the GitHub token will be shown as follows. Just click the Copy button over here, and then go back to VS Code and paste the token next to the bearer as follows. Okay, with that, the GitHub MCP server is now active. Uh, we can see it already appears on the right side, but if you don't see it, you can click the Refresh MCP button here. Alright, we can close the JSON file, and if we expand the GitHub MCP server, we can see all the tools supported by this MCP. But the configuration is now finished, so we can close this MCP panel as well, uh, just click done on the top. Let's test whether Kilo Code can access GitHub through the MCP server next. Here, I will ask Kilo Code to get the 5 most start repos on GitHub and find one thing they have in common. Press enter and let Kilo Code process the request. And there it is, we can see that Kilo Code is asking to use GitHub MCP Server to get the most popular repos. Let's approve this. And now we can see the 5 most popular repos. And one thing they have in common is that they provide free educational resources and learning materials for programming and software development. Okay, this means Kilo Code can now use the GitHub MCP Server without any issue. Let's try more actions, like creating a fork and a branch. Back here in GitHub, I want to fork the Killer Code project to my account. So, I will copy the URL here, and then back to VS Code, I will ask Killer Code to fork the repository to my GitHub account. Press Enter and let Killer Code process the request again. Okay, now it says the fork is in progress and should be available shortly. Let's visit my GitHub account and see if it's really in progress. Uh, so, go to my repositories here. And yep, here's the Kilo Code fork. It just got updated recently, which is pretty awesome. Next, I want to summarize the coding journey for this repo from the comments. I will select just the last three comments because this repo has lots of comments. So back in VS Code, prompt Kilo Code to summarize the coding journey for the repo from the last three comments. All right, here's the result. The last three comments are authored by this person, and it's focused on refactoring effort to reduce dependency on VS Code for autocomplete strategies. Here's the detail of the comments and a short summary. 
Okay, next we will create a branch called base1 from the main branch and then update the readme file with the coding journey summary. Press enter and let Kilo work again. It will focus on the repository and then create a to-do list. Uh, this request will take a while so I will skip ahead to when it's finished. Okay, now the agent has created a branch and included the coding journey in the readme file. So let's go back to GitHub and open the repo page. And yes, we can see the new branch over here, which is pretty cool. Finally, let's create a pull request from the base1 branch to the main branch. Fill the pull request description with the update. Submit the prompt. And then after a while, KiloCode will report that the pull request has been created. It also provides the URL to the pull request here, uh, so let's click on it. And here's the pull request page on GitHub. We can see the coding journey summary on the description over here. And then if we click on the comments, we can see the comments added to this request. There is only one here and that is where the readme file is updated with the latest coding journey. So there you have it. The GitHub MCP server enables Kilo code to interact with GitHub contacts and data. With this MCP server, the agent can now take actions and make changes on your behalf like creating branches, opening pull requests, and managing your workflow. If you're someone who spends a lot of time on GitHub, then this MCP server will be a great addition to your toolkit. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now you know how to install GitHub MCP server in KiloCode to grant it access to GitHub data, contacts, and actions. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.